Hello everyone, this is Alex of Vending Machine Support, and I'm back with another video in regards to the Dixie Narco E-Series Drink Vending Machine. In today's video, I want to discuss an issue that I get quite often from tech support calls where a customer is pressing a selection button and is saying try another selection or it's saying sold out, but again, when the selection is actually checked, there are plenty of drinks in there. So I wanted to go over the different areas where you can look to figure out why this issue is happening. So let's get started. Now, I'm going to use this Dixie Narco 2760 behind me. Now, I've already prefabricated or created this problem to be able to show you and how we can troubleshoot things down. So, where this problem lies or this issue is you walk up to the machine, you press the selection button one, and you're getting a price as $1.25. And you go through and you press your selections, and when you may get a selection that will say sold out across it. But let's say number two, if I press this, I'm going to press it and it's going to say try another selection here. Let's try another selection. Okay, so what that's telling me is that there is a problem with selection number two. Depending on the firmware that you have in your STD control board in your E-Series drink machine, it may not say try another selection, it just may say sold out regardless. So what this problem is, I've created this issue. So you open the door and you're like, wow, selection number two, it's got drinks in it. Okay, so we got cans in here. Now, number seven is empty. So that's legit. When I press selection button seven, it says sold out. That's legitimately sold out. There's nothing in here. Now, I have tripped the selections for one, two, one, three, four, five, and six. I've actually created them to look like they're actually got products in them. But the problem we have here is that we got try another selection, and that's happening on the number two column, and I actually have drinks in here. So the first thing we can always check to see is we can always press the service mode button on the control board. And if there's any type of error, when you press the service mode button, it will pop up before it reads HD. And now usually the error will say JC-X, where X represents the column the machine believes there's an issue with. So here, if I go over here and I press the service mode by the blue service mode button, press it one time, and I'm getting JC-2. So my problem is in column two, but I've got drinks in it, but it's giving me a JC. So the JC stands for jammed column. So I have a jam in there somehow. So I have JC2. Now, if I wait here periodically, it will eventually say HD. We can kind of force this up in the matter by pressing selection button one and holding it. It's gonna start saying homing across the screen. Now what this actually does is this is the computer board trying to apply power to that motor to turn it back to its home or start position. Now that's a key thing here, back to its home position or start position. So what happens should be here, I got the motor disabled at this point in time, but what would happen here is you would hear the motor trying to turn to get, to get it back to its home position. Now, if it's not getting back to its home position, there's something stuck in the pro in there. So you'll need to remove the product that. So I've got back to HD here. Now, if I open the door and I remove the cover, we can actually take a closer look and see where the issue is. Now, the problem I've created in here, I've actually stalled the motor to make it so the home switch here is not in a start notch. So all these selections here, we got three, four, five, six, and seven, have all of their home switches that ride up against the timing cam are actually in their home notch. So I can actually press down on these and they're being pulled out of the uh, notch. Number two, I can't. This is already pressed down. So this motor is not back in its home position. So that's one of the things why we have homing the motor to get it back. So when we have a jam where it says try another selection, all right, and it's only on one particular section, it says try another selection or it says sold out, you can take the cover off and to take a look here. And if you've got something like this, then you know you've got something stuck. So what you're gonna to wanna to do here is you're gonna to wanna to empty out the drinks completely, and then you're gonna go back and try the homing to get that motor back home. So let me go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and empty out these drinks. As I was removing the cans from column number two, I saw where the issue is. Of course, this is a manufactured issue, but I tried to replicate a typical issue that I found. So as we're removing the cans out of column number two, I saw that there was a one can that was wedged up against the cradle. So as the can was trying to drop into the cradle, it got, didn't fall in completely and the cradle 
pinched the can. So I'm gonna to need to remove that. And that is the issue for this one. Even though it was full, that one can at the very bottom that you couldn't see because other cans were sitting on top of it, stopped the motor from getting back to its home position, creating that JC error in a turn when the door was closed or when this happened, customer press the selection, it would say sold out, or again, depending on the firmware, it would say try another selection. So there's typically what that issue is. So to remove that Jan product, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to remove power from the machine. You can do that by unplugging the machine from the wall. There's a stack plug at the bottom, left-hand side of most of these Dixie Narcos. This piece right here, you just pull that apart, that will kill power, or you can kill power at the control board using the power plug located right here to separate these two wires. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the stack plug. I have plenty of videos that show how to remove the power at the board. I'm gonna go use the stack plug down here at the bottom. So I'm just gonna go ahead and unplug that. Now once that's removed, we can come back over to the um, motor and we're gonna to need to open the cradle up some by hand so we can get that pinch can out. So what I typically like to do is I will uh, take my ring finger or middle finger and my index finger. Now from index finger, I'll push down on the actual home switch and then I'll push up on the brake and then I'll just start turning the cradle by using their armature. Uh, either be spinning the armature clockwise or anti-clockwise, depending on how, if I need to open or close it to get the jam removed. Or if you're, sometimes you can reach underneath and start hand turning the cradle yourself. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up a little bit more. All right, that should be enough for that. Uh, there we go. Can's nice and clear. I can reach in and remove that. Now, once the can has been removed, the jam has been removed, we now need to put the mission get this motor back to its home position. And that's where that whole homing process, when you close the door or when you press the service mode button, you would get that homing message across the screen. So we're gonna go ahead and reapply power back to the machine. So I'm gonna go ahead and the stack plug here, get this plugged in. All right, now I got power back on the machine. So there's two things I can do here. I can either just close the door on the machine Actually, three things, matter of fact. I can just close the door on the machine. I can press the blue service mode button and get it into service mode, or I can replicate closing the door by pulling the door interlock switch out. This is a three position switch. This switch lets the computer board know that if the door is open or closed, and we can actually test in the machine or operate the machine with the door open, but let the computer board think the door is closed, and that's done by pulling this button out. So what's gonna happen here, it's gonna read homing, and now the motor is turning back to its home position as it was reading homing. So that's a kind of a quick way you can check to see if you have one column that's saying try another selection or sold out and you have drinks in it. Now the other thing that may come up is you may come up to your machine and every single selection that you press is saying sold out or it's saying try another selection. And then when you open the door, you all your drinks are stacked all the way up. Now, this is another thing that can happen on these is that it means that your motor fuse is blown. So if you have a jam column or if you press the service mode button and you get a JC error across all your motors, JC one through nine, if it's on the uh, 501E or 600E series, or a JC one through seven, if it's on a 276E series, then you know that you've got a blown fuse on your control board that controls the motors. Now that fuse is, can be found on this control board, on the panel here. As a matter of fact, a lot of times there's a sticker that says F2, it's a six amp fuse, which is for the VEN motors. To replace that fuse, very simple, you're just going to disconnect power to the control board, separate it there. And then here you're going to remove the two screws that hold the cover on, and you're gonna remove the cover and those fuses are gonna be located. The fuse is always the middle fuse. Even if it's sitting horizontal or vertical, it's always the middle fuse. Now these fuses can be found very easily at any hardware store. Again, this is a six amp fuse that protects the motors. So once that fuse is replaced, go ahead and put your cover back on, reapply power, and you should be back in business. Now, if you found this video useful, I appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, or ideas of videos that you would like to see, please leave a comment below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.